Okay, it's time for another computer video. With cool dude Clem, who has recovering from a very bad cold. Anyway, this is the hard drives on my computer, and as you can see, running out of space. Both hard drives, well, both partitions of the hard drive. Almost no space left. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, the obvious choice, add another hard drive. Got a hard drive here, only problem is, it's the only spare hard drive I have, and it is IDE. And these mother mo modern motherboards are all SATA now. So, this is the solution. And this is the huge packaging it came with. I'm not kidding. It is a great big box for this little tiny thing here. It's crazy. Anyway. Just gonna open this. Don't want to cut through any of the cables or anything. They should make prisons out of this stuff. Maybe not literally, but it's almost that crazy. So there we go. Got a little circuit board, adapter, and SATA connector. So this plugs into the hard drive here. Okay, there we go. Next thing to do, plug this into my computer and hope it works. Well, this is going to take a little longer than I thought. The sheer size of this graphic card is so big. When I put this thing in, it obstructs these SATA ports here. Fortunately, I've got some of those right-angled ones. So I'm going to swap that for this wire. And connect that there. And that should work. Well, you'll see what I mean. Of course, they have to be awkward and make it angled that particular way. Meaning that I cannot plug anything into that fourth plug, but that's not going to be a problem. Well, it took a bit longer than I thought, but everything is back together now. Anyway, let's just see if this thing will boot up or uh, will even still work after all of that. I'm just going to try to unlock side my tripod. Okay, so turn the TV on. I'm not going to do EXWB and go smoke test, but let's see. Hope it will boot without any trouble. Let's see. I don't see any picture on the TV. I might have to do a little bit of debugging, I think. And would you believe it, the instant I turn the camera off, it starts. Alright, so let's just go into Windows 7. Don't know why it was taking so long to boot up, but yes, I do have Windows 7, even though that looks like Windows Vista booting up. That is actually Windows 7. It just, for some reason, on this particular TV, it shows up like that. Anyway, we'll be able to see when this eventually boots up, of course, how well it's taken to the hard drive. It seems to be taking a little bit longer than normal, but that's to be expected. All right, and we're ready. My background pictures don't seem to be... Oh, never mind. So, going to the computer and see what we have. It does not appear to be in there. Well, I don't know what the deal is. Windows 7 doesn't detect it. Windows XP doesn't detect it. I've tried it with just about every single combination of things here. With it connected to this one, with it connected to that one, with the jumper pin set in every single configuration that they can possibly be in. And still, the hard drive does not detect. Well, after much tinkering around in the BIOS, I'm happy to report success. I mean success. Gotta get my voice fixed. There's are the, these two partitions here. You can see are the other hard drive. I'm not exactly sure why it says HP Recovery. I'm sure I didn't label it. It must have just always been there. Anyway, so I've now got extra storage space. And I've had to pull my other monitor out because, well, monitor off the other computer because for some reason the BIOS just will not show up on the TV. I don't know why, but it won't. 
Anyway, so I know Windows 7 can see it. Let's see if Windows XP can see it. Found new hardware. Could that be the hard drive? Do you reckon? I think it is. It says disk drive. A vast is going berserk. Oh well, it's found it. HP recovery, that's what we had on the thing. I am not going to run it. But let's just see what we have. And yes, look at that. Four hard drives show up. That's actually only two hard drives, but they've got two partitions on each drive, so that's why it shows up as four. So, yeah, I can call that success. Now i just got to put all this back how it was, so I can have it on my TV again, and I'm going to call this a day. I've got to go now because my battery is just about out. The camera will not stop recording.